<laughs> look at this. Yeah, look, there's a dog break dancing here. Oh, I bet you could do that, couldn't you? Yeah. And you've got longer legs than you, honey. Yes, yes. Wait, is it a Labrador or a Labrador cross? Do you not know? We need to go to the garden centre later. Well, we haven't got a garden. No, I know, but I want to get some hanging baskets. I know, so I've got loads. Oh, I've got stuff to do. What stuff? Sunday man stuff. Don't tell me you're going to finally fix that bedroom shelf. I was actually thinking more horizontal Sunday man stuff. You know, take advantage of the place when it's quiet. Morning! Sorry we're up so late. All right, mate. You know you'd stay over? Actually, yeah. I was a bit worried we might have kept you awake. Yeah. It's like dog break dancing. Mm. What are you up to today? I've decided yet. Oh, good, because I thought the four of us could go to the bistro for lunch. What, like a double date? Why not? Things are getting a bit serious, aren't they? Steve, it's a meal. Could be a laugh. We'd be delighted. Oh, fab. Uh, what about the hanging baskets? They can wait. Oh, you know what? I just remembered I've got paperwork to do at Streetcar. Oh, no, have you? Let's get over there now, then. You'll be done by lunch. <laughs> Oh, nearly missed you there. There's no flipping missing you, is there? You can market that for road safety. Birthday present from Ireland. Oh, uh, sorry, mate, forgot. Yeah, I wish everybody had, including me. Ah, uh, the big... Don't say it. Yeah, I felt the same when I hit 40. I thought when you got older, you're supposed to feel older. And I feel still 25 in my head. <laughs> Wouldn't want to be 25 again. Too much insecurity. Mm. 29, now that was a good year. My son was born, and I didn't know what back pain was. <laughs> Hi. Do you want? Is Lloyd about? Nope. I, um, well, I just need to get the rest of my stuff from the flat. I'll tell him. I'm going for a fag. Happy birthday. I was going to leave it for you. Bless you. Right, well, I best make a stop upstairs. You haven't told him yet, have you? Andrea. I can't make a little think it's a trap. He has a right to know it's his baby as well. What? Oh, brilliant. Why'd you have to mention that? Is this another one of your lies? No, it's true. Please don't tell Lloyd. Right, today's specials are sirloin steak in a bernet sauce and hand-cooked chips. All righty, I like a bit of beef. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, finally. It's a little bit late. Uh, I'll have a lager, please. Oh, okay. no, I'll have a glass of wine. But I'll give you a minute. Do you know what? If somebody had said to me three months ago that I'd be sat here today with a new man, and your son will have a glass of red instead of a pint. <laughs> I wouldn't have believed him. <laughs> hey, it's to surprises. Hey, surprises. <laughs> surprises. <laughs> surprises. Could you maybe at least crack one smile? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> hey, Skype down to last night. No. How is he? Smug. 30 degrees over there. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a bit of sun, eh? Oh. Hey, beers on the beach, watching the girls. Mm. Old sandcastles with their mums. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we should organise it. Lads, we can do something. You are joking. Steve's terrible on the beach. Back to 30 in a massive hat. <laughs> <laughs> Got very sensitive skin. Mm. You don't get that from me. Nothing I like more than lying in the sun all day, covered in fact to 50. Hey, we shall go. Yes, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, day. Well, I've heard a couple of behaviour, but joint loo breaks. We'll never go that far, will we? Never. Chop, 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 what? 
Now, before you say she's lying, I don't think she is, because Michael saw the test, and she swore me to secrecy. That's been up to say anything. What? You can't not tell him. He's got to know. What about me, mother? I'll break her heart again. <sighs> They're having a good time. So are we. <laughs> well, some of us are. You're too definitely serious, then. Oh, mate, we've been through all this. It's not that I don't want you to be happy. You are. You've been miserable a sin ever since you walked in. I'm going to pound on my nose. Could you make this any harder? Sorry. What's the matter with it? Nothing. Tell him. Tell me what? He deserves to know. Oh, well, I'm going to have to tell him now, aren't I? Tell me what? I had planned this a little bit more delicate. You hadn't planned this at all. Tell me what? Andrew's pregnant. When they found out today, she made me promise not to say anything. She what? I'm sorry, mate. Don't get me head around this. Hey, listen, don't let her blackmail you into taking her back. And don't tell your mum until I find out what's what. Don't worry, she's the last bit bad. What's going on? I just... Mate, I've had a bit of bad news. What have you said to her? No, no, nothing, honestly, honestly. Look, I'll, I'll call you later, baby. Hmm? You're determined to ruin this, aren't you? No. Oh. Let's get the bill. Wow, you know, that's amazing, that. Because I did have an illness about halfway through my life, just where that thing bit is there. Hmm? Excuse me. Oh, hi, babe. It, it, it's me. Um, just checking that you're all right. I know today was a bit awkward, as you will know. Steve can be a willful little beggar when he sets his mind to it, but it will come round, don't worry. All right, uh, we'll speak later. Bye. Well, I always get the blame for everything. Well, oh, because it's usually your fault. Well, this time it's not. Mm, I know. The irony. Listen, come on, Lloyd's not going to take Andrea back. Not after all she's done. I love you, Lloyd. Darling, I'm always right. Mm-hmm. <laughs>